this guy. Now, now, what about playing with the young kids? Oh God! Steel toed, steel toed slippers. I mean, steel-toed this was slippers. this was a smoking show tonight. I mean, you guys. I know you, Dave. Dave has been bragging and posting pictures of you guys rehearsing, and I mean, uh, well, steel toed slippers and, and the, the 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 Chiefs. The Chiefs. My gosh. What's what's the good? The good news is this: the the guys that are just musicians, and that could be, you know, guys, girls, whatever. But these people are real musicians. We've had some influence on them. They were talking about uh, the Chiefs were talking about Canned Heat and some other bands. It's a legacy that's involved, and it really gives you pause. I mean, we we've been around long enough where I've. Like 20 years ago, I had some kid that came up and said, "Oh, when I was 20, uh, when I was six years old, my mother brought me to hear you cats. I'm 26 now. I'm playing in a band. I was in my 30s, man. I'm right. going, wow, no wonder I need a cane. <laughs> I'll be 63 next month. I feel really good, really energized, and um, it was. I love the energy that was going on tonight." with both bands and the fact that they're musicians. Yeah. That's something that years ago Keith Richards said to me outside of Amsterdam at a downstairs when the Stones came to hear Little Feet. Oh, we're, mate, we're all from the same cloth. <laughs> and then what he was saying was welcome to the club. Right. Which is what I say to each and every one of these guys. Welcome to the club. We're all a part of the same thing. Now, does it does it surprise you that I mean, Let It Roll is almost 25 years ago now since you guys kind of went back on the road and I mean, really have not stopped. I rouse Paul about it all the time because he says you guys are slowing down, but it really doesn't seem like you guys are slowing down at all. Well, I mean, it's, it, all, it's all in your head. I'm not yeah, slowing down. I mean, with nine songs with Hunter and Will it was nasty, Billy. Thank you, Kenny. Nasty. Those solos were so freaking <laughs> awesome. Wait, no, no, c- come here. Sit Kenny down, Grant, sit down, come sit, here, down sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on, sit buddy. Down. Everything sounded this guy All right, the, the ageless wonder. He's the ageless wonder. And Kenny Gradney has now sat down with us. And he is producing Steel Toad Slippers album, which we've been playing on Flying Eye oh, for really? months and months and months and excellent, months. Excellent, yeah. excellent. David has David has done a great job of making sure that I get the earliest possible That's, copies. But he still hasn't given you the mix, and I keep telling him, hold off until Eddie mixes everything, because right. then it's really going to sound amazing. So, because he, he puts. Ed Turney puts life to each song, and we need that on these tunes, because these tunes are really alive. So, now, what was it like for you, because you played on some of the tracks before, I on, before on, Nick uh, came half in. half of the tracks. Yeah. We, then, we, then they found Nick, we, and Nick is incredible. He is And he's, he's just an amazing, blossomed and yeah. blossomed, you know. What was it like producing these guys, knowing knowing Matt, like Billy well, said you know, during the show, that he's been since six? Their dad, David, David asked me, because I was telling him, I said, why don't you just get one of the guys in the band and produce you? They'll do it. And not realizing they didn't have a bass player. When I, and then I said, well, I'll produce him. And he goes, will you? And, and that's basically how it started. And I started going over the tunes with them and learning them and, and going, this song's too long, you know, and this has to go here and this has to go there. And, and we worked up everything really nice. They're just, they just do whatever you say. You know, they're so hungry. You know, really good musicians. Um, Will is amazing. Will Nickel is amazing. Yeah. Great front man, sings really good, has an understanding of a song, you know, and what, what Richie did with Matt. Richie was the real reason I started on this because he worked with Matt so much. Yeah. And I thought it would only be fair just to give the kids a chance, you know, and so I did it for basically for Richie, and that's the truth. And because Matt just had that hungry eye, you know, he's so broken hearted, like the rest of us when Richie passed. And this kid is just an amazing drummer. He, he is, I, I told David tonight, he, he has really become one of my favorite drummers. Unbelievable. He is and they're just growing every day. They practice every day and they're growing. Yeah. And Billy in there today just oh, he was added shredding. so, it was. It was like freedom in there playing, wasn't it? You were just playing the songs free, like you don't play them normally. And that I was 
I was envious of you up there. I really was. Well, the kids are playing with this young energy like that, you know. The yeah. baby feet is what we were cracking up over there. The baby feet, my sister well, kept saying. Will reminds me of what I used to look like when I did that day. Yeah. And another thing I like, he's cool. He's he just, he just in there on top yeah. of everything. You know, you know and it, let me go over and say the truth. I mean, aside from aside from Richie, he reminds me a lot of Wilfredo Reyes. Yes. Because of, because of the way he gets around. He plays. Just like he was taught, you know, and he grew up. He only listened to Richie growing up. That's all he listened to. Yeah. So now Billy and I were talking about the, the new song that they played, uh, I mean, Rooster Rag. Yeah. I oh, mean, we've been it, playing that on stage. If, if the album that is forthcoming is yes. anything like it, that, that is going to be the album's a, very real, nice. There's some really good tunes on there. They're they're you know they're little feet songs. They're album oriented songs. You know, no, no no single hit records or nothing on there. Yeah. They're they're you know, you know, we write songs to, and give ourselves a foundation so that we can take off on. And uh, what this is, it's, in my eyes, is, is a new avenue for everybody to just take off on, you know, because we are getting older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody except for you. <laughs> no, I try not to. I'm trying to keep these young kids around me. I want to stay young. And they really are very good. You know, I've been working with them for the last year now. So, I'm having a great time. I finally got management over here, which is good. We're going to get them out on the road. We're going to set the birds free, you know? That's the key. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it, Kenny. My Thank pleasure. You. My pleasure, man. Thank you.